Welcome to the Spring Graduation Ceremony for the White Bear Lake Area Learning Center. I'm Gretchen Harriman, Principal of the ALC. We are glad that you are here with us to celebrate even though we can't be together in person. Tonight's graduation honors graduates of the traditional ALC, Insight Recovery School, and our Independent Study Program. During this program, we will recognize students who have graduated during this school year, our 2020 graduates, and those we expect to complete during summer school. I'd like to open by acknowledging our district leadership. First, we have an amazing school board, which is very supportive of our school. Our school board members include board chair Don Mullen, who is also our school liaison, Kim Chapman, Deborah Beloyd, Marge Newmaster, Jessica Ellison, Scott Arcand, and Angela Thompson. The district cabinet members who also support us and join in celebrating you tonight are Superintendent Wayne Kazmierczak, Assistant Superintendents Tim Wald and Sarah Paul, and cabinet members Lisa Oren, Tim Maurer, Marissa Vetti, Matt Mons, and Steve Asber. And finally, I'd like to recognize the people who have worked with your students on a daily basis for the past one, two, or even three years, and who are the ones who are instrumental in getting us through distance learning, the ALC teachers and staff. They work hard to teach both academics and life lessons and are instrumental in creating our school climate. Thank you, ALC staff. We have provided programs to graduates and have also linked them to our site. If you have one with you, I'd like you to look at the back of the program. I want to take this opportunity to recognize students who have excelled academically this year. You can see the list of students involved in MAPSTARS who are prepared to compete in the Minnesota State Alternative Programs Annual Competition, which was supposed to take place in May. You can also see the names of those honored as scholarship recipients and academic achievers. These students have represented our school well and we are proud of their achievements. You are all viewing this program tonight to celebrate a student who may or may not be with you right now. Every student being honored tonight has a unique story and unbelievable strengths. When I think about the students who are graduating tonight, I can't help but feel sad that our time with them was cut short. I think back to the Final Four basketball tournament we had during lunch the week preceding spring break. I also remember the goodbyes and send off we had in the foyer as students departed for spring break. We didn't realize at the time that it would be our last time together at school. If we had, we would have cherished those moments more. I'm proud of this class for the passion for welcoming new students into the ALC the resilience through life's challenges to include distance learning and social distancing, as well as their passion for equity and justice. When I consider each of you and the strengths you've overcome to reach this milestone, I am so proud. Some of you have been with us since sophomore year, while others have been with us briefly. Students being honored tonight have graduated a little early, on time, or a year or two after their classmates. Some of you are the first in your families to graduate from high school. Your commitment and perseverance are an example for family and friends. You wanted younger siblings and cousins to see you cross the stage, and some of you have accomplished this in memory of family members. You are all someone else's inspiration. Congratulations to each of you as you close this chapter of your life and move on to your next adventure. Tonight is a celebration not only for these students, but for all of us who have watched them and been their cheerleaders along the way. I speak on behalf of the whole staff when I say that it has been a pleasure to be a part of the journey. Before we hear from our student speakers, we have some special greetings for the class of 2020. The first is from the staff members you have spent your school days with. Take it from here, staff. What up, my White Bear Lake AOC graduates? Have a happy graduation. Sorry things went so badly, but DJ, go. Take it now, everybody. Hi, I'm Matthew Frost. I'm a pair at ALC. Class of 2020, I'm so proud of you. You've done it. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations, ALC, class of 2020. You've endured a lot. Use the lessons you've learned through this COVID-19 crisis to not let anything get in your way. Hello, everyone. My name is Rebecca McCormick. I'm the school counselor at the ALC, and I just want to say congratulations to all of the graduates. I'm so proud of you. Take care. Hi, hard workers. This is Leanne Burris. I teach social studies at the ALC. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Good job hanging in there and sticking it out and getting it done. We miss you, we love you, take care. Congratulations to all of you. Your hard work has paid off. Best of luck to you, follow your passion and stay true to yourself. Congrats ALC seniors and good luck on everything in your future. 
Take care. Hi, y'all. I just want to say I'm super proud of you all. I'm super proud of all your hard work. I'm so grateful this is my first year. And keep up the awesome work after you are done. Bye now. Congratulations, graduates. You've accomplished a life milestone and a difficult time in our nation's history. The class of 2020 is going to go on and do wonderful things. Go Bears! Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of all that you've accomplished, and you should be proud too. Hi, ALC graduates. It's Anne from the Art Department. I just want to wish you all congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I've loved working with you, and I know you're going to do great. Celebrate the day and come back and visit. Take care, all. Hello, seniors. This is Fool. I just want to say uh, congratulations on your hard work. You did it, and uh, good luck to you moving forward. Um, whether you guys go to college or go in the workforce, good luck, and please come back and visit us. Hello. Congratulations to all the graduates. I'm so proud of you. I'm wishing you the best of luck in the near future, and have a great summer. Good evening. This is Laura Waters, science teacher and MapStars advisor at White Bear Lake ALC. Congratulations to the students and families of the hardworking, resilient class of 2020. Hey, 2020 graduates. You made it. I am so proud of you guys. I know that this isn't ideal and I would much rather be in your presence and see all of your smiling faces today, but know that I will never forget you guys. We have had a great year together. I really enjoyed the time that we spent together and I will never ever forget you guys. I'm so proud of you. It's been a heck of a journey, but you did it. Congratulations. I'll miss you. Hi, it's Kat from the math department. Congratulations to our seniors. By the time you see this, I will have teared up infinite number of times thinking about how proud of you we all are tonight. Well done. You'll be forever in our hearts. Hi, class of 2020. You did it. You made it. Congratulations. You're all going to do great things. If you can make it through this year, you're going to have a successful life. Go Bears. Hello graduates, congratulations. I'm very proud of you, you did it. I wish you the best. Remember, this is the beginning of a fun adventure. Buena suerte, adios. Class of 2020, we'll never forget the school year and the curveballs it threw at us, but you made it through and we couldn't be more proud. Congratulations to all of you. We also invited people who impacted this year's learning to share a message with you. During second quarter, students read Just Mercy and The Sun Still Shines in their language arts classes, and we took an all-school field trip to see Just Mercy when it was released. We invited the authors of those books to send their greetings to you. Anthony Ray Hinton, author of The Sun Still Shines, was unable to record a message, but emailed to send his congratulations to and let you know he still hopes to visit Minnesota after the pandemic. Brian Stevenson sends his sincerest congratulations to the students, parents, and educators on this monumental achievement. We also have special greetings for you from Senator Jason Isaacson, who many of our students met at the Minnesota Association of Alternative Programs Legislative Day at the Capitol. He is a strong supporter of alternative programs and recovery schools. We also have a recorded message from Kao Kailia Yang, the author of The Late Homecomer, which students read this year. Kailia had been scheduled to be an all-school speaker after spring break. Instead, she provided her talk as a distance learning experience and communicated one-on-one -on -one with students afterward. Here are their greetings to the class of 2020. Hello, State Senator Jason Isaacson here, and I want to say a big congratulations to the class of 2020. I know it's a big milestone in your life, and you're very excited to move on to the next stages in your life, and I'm, I'm really excited that you're able to finish high school. I know that this is tough circumstances to do it under, and I want to tell you that I really appreciate the sacrifice you made and, and getting through the end of the semester, and I'm sad that we can't do a lot of those celebrations, but I hope that you have youth and excitement as you move on to the next steps of your life. So congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. Hello, White Bear Lake Area Learning Center. My name is Kao Kalia Yang. I'm the author of The Late Homecomer, The Song Poet. This is my daughter, Sheng Yang. And we are so excited today to be part of all of this community that is wishing you congratulations on your graduation. I look forward to meeting you when our stories merge in different spaces and time. I'm so excited for the work that you will do, the goodness that you have to give. Congratulations. At this point, I would like to turn the program over to our student speakers. This year, we will be hearing from our graduates. 
High school was amazing, but sadly it is now over. High school felt never ending, but you can make it just like I did. Thanks to all my amazing friends and family. Of course, my mom, my biggest supporter, has been through so much with me. ALC has taught me so much. I am so grateful to be a Wiper Lake graduate. We did it. Hey guys, my name is Gavin Nelson. Um, some of you guys may know me, um, but you know, I'm 2019 and 2020, you know, for all of us, you know, it's been a crazy year, but it's been a crazy year for me, especially. Um, as some of you guys may know, you know, I've, uh, <laughs> I've been in and out of recovery and treatment facilities for the last four, four to five years of my life. Um, but at this moment of my life, I can finally say I've been drug and alcohol free for 17 months. Now, um, for me to be a 2020 graduate, you know, it means so much to me, you know, because I never thought I would graduate. You know, I'll be the first one in my family to have received a diploma. Uh, and that's that's a big blessing because that's all of my parents and family have, has ever wanted was to see one of the was see one of us kids, you know, be able to be successful and have a diploma. I know my dad, you know, would be more than proud right now. I know he would, you know, he died of a drug overdose back in 2018. Um, and you know, he, he was struggling, but you know what? We all have our struggles, you know, and I, I know he would, he would be so happy to see me graduate right now if he was with me, you know, but it, it's hard to know he's gone, but I know he's definitely looking down on me and I know he's, he's making this moment f for me happen for a reason. He's doing it to make me feel proud, appreciative, accomplished, you know, just accomplished in life. Um, after all that I've been through in the last four years, you know, it's, I couldn't be more than grateful to say that I'm a 2020 graduate. You know, I just want to say thank you to the White Bear Lake ALC, White Bear Lake Insight, you know, just for the nonstop support and motivation and love and care. And also, I would just, I would like to say thank you to Beth and Tracy, you know, for just never giving up on me, to Gretchen, to Nelda, you know, to Matthew, to all the teachers, you know, who have just been amazing. Um, you know, and also I just would like to shout out, you know, Jennifer Funk, you know, she, um, <laughs> she was my chemical counselor back in ninth grade. You know, I met her in ninth grade or no, earlier than that, like middle school, you know, and she was one of the one and actually Callie Moreau too. She was, uh, she's a counselor at um, Central, you know, those two have been the biggest supports of my life since sixth grade who have never given up on me and who have, who made, who is making this right here happen for me. You know, because they gave me that and they helped me get to this point where I'm at right now. Um, so I just want to say thank you. Um, peace out, white bear. Um, until my next generation joins you, don't worry. It'll be in like 10 years. I promise. Um, well, peace out. My name's Gavin. Um, I love you guys all. High school is great, but now it's come to an end. For me, it was a long road to get here, but here I am, here we all are, doing what a lot of people told us we couldn't. For me, a lot of people try to tear me down, make me feel like I wouldn't get to where I was, make me feel like I was useless, and I wasn't powerful that I am. And I know I am now, and that's how I am, and that's how I got here today. We're not all gonna have the same paths, and we're not all gonna have the same future. Any failures that we come across, just apply them to new opportunities to get to where we need to be. Change your ways and remember, not everybody is perfect. It's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to keep moving. If you get pushed down, get back up and do it all over again. We did it. Thank you, ALC teachers. I'm Dr. Wayne Kazmercheck, Superintendent of White Bear Lake Area Schools. I want to commend this class for their perseverance this spring and for their leadership this school year. Today, the White Bear School community honors an important part of our district's legacy, each and every one of you. To the Area Learning Center class of 2020, I wish you well as you set out to pursue your dreams. Stay safe, remain hopeful, and don't let anything stand in your way. Go Bears! It is now time for the presentation of the class of 2020. It is my honor to affirm that the students recognized this evening have met the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the State of Minnesota and the School Board of Independent School District number 624. It is my distinct pleasure to present the graduating class 
of the White Bear Lake Area Learning Center for 2020. On behalf of District 624 School Board and the entire community, I accept the presentation of the class of 2020 and declare them eligible to receive their diplomas as evident of having completed the requirements set by the school board. Congratulations and go Bears. Thank you, Dr. Kazmierczak and Don Mullen. And finally, grads, the moment you've been waiting for, your walk across the virtual stage. The ALC has a tradition of advisors awarding diplomas and sharing a little bit about each student. Since that is too personal for this format, advisors have enclosed letters of affirmation, encouragement, and celebration with their advisees diplomas. So I now present to you the White Bear Lake Area Learning Center, Class of 2020. Sihan Ahmed Abdullahi. Brian Maynard Alberto. Andrew Isaac Albright. Clara Awad. Zane Jeffrey Bakken. Isabella Danielle Bill. Josephine Bobby Brennan. Michaela Lynn Carpenter Kennedy. William Raymond Cermak. Willow Chester. Lily Nanette Comstock. Joshua Michael Cook. Mason Russell Freeman. Bailey Nicole Gilbert. Cheyenne Rose Gill. Brooklyn Marie Glavitz. Z Grissom. Rihanna J. Hamilton. Bryce Xavier Hansen. Danielle Elizabeth Hansen. Devin John Hayes. April Hickman. Grace Noel Honeycutt. Wade Klein. Justin Garrett Clues. Matea Rose Kuffner. Gerald Georgie Kanishki. Aaliyah Lords Lee. Krista Marie Lee. Fuchi Lee. Dylan Manny Lorenz. Ajeda Reina Mack. Kayla Elizabeth Mason. Donovan Patrick McGlattery. Brianna Veronica Marino. Madison Victoria Miller. Madison Zoe Miller. Ariana Mose. Tyra Ruby Michelle Moreno. Madison Mortensen. Morgan Lee Mortensen. Malik Dequana Moten. Kerrigan Elizabeth Murphy. Gavin Ian Nelson. William Michael Nepsha. Jake Elliot Olivares. Justin Lee Olson. Kyle James Olson. Samantha Marie Olson. 
Debian Peterson. Alondra Ramirez. Myra Denise Richter Moore. Riley Marie Rogers. Colin John Rooney. Alberto Rosales Estrada Jr. Elijah Rocio. Destiny Lynn Salinas. Samantha Sargent. Chloe Ela May Scherer. Maximus Michael Schultz. Shane Schumacher. Madison Catherine Seip. Ramsey Raymond Sante. Bailey Blake Stanton. Bryce Trenery. Ada Marie Reyna Vallejo. Oseas Marina Vasquez Tarat. Brianna Elizabeth Warner. Grace Marie Warner. Jeremy Alexander Zuniga. Congratulations, graduates. You may all move your tassels from the right to the left, signifying that you have indeed graduated. We have one special send off for you before you go. During our weekly virtual staff meetings, one of the things that has given us a sense of normalcy and community has been concluding our meetings with daily announcements by Dan or John. So before dismissing you, class of 2020, here is your last daily announcement. Good evening, ALC graduates. Today is Thursday, June 4th, and here are your graduation announcements. For lunch from now on, it's anything you want, but it's not gonna be Big Daddy's Pizza or Shrimp Poppers or Chicken Schmackers. You're on your own. That concludes your graduation announcements. Learn lots, be nice to each other, and have fun. And remember to stay clean, confident, and classy, and always make wise choices. Remember, being a better person makes you a better bear. Go 